my goal has been to. Oh. <laughs> um, this whole season, I've been visualizing taking that Olympic gold medal. But as I think all three of us were saying on the stage, you know, you have to make that team first. You can't win a gold medal at the Olympics if you're not in the race. So, um, you know, my focus now, I've got about five weeks to um, just keep it going. I feel like I've got um, all the components that I need for an amazing season. And so just going to keep it up, stay healthy, um, stay excited, let this excitement carry me. And just, you know, I'm so, I'm very relieved um, to be on, on the team. And so now it's just focusing on that, that Olympic final, making sure I get there and putting myself in a good spot. Some of the ingredients, the factors, the people, that have helped you yeah. to uh, make your second uh, living yeah. team here? Um, I have such an amazing core group of people. Um, Coach Cook and Ryan Ponsonby are my coaches. Um, and at home I have some you know, on-site coaches. My high school coach, Andy Chan, and um, he coaches at Sacred Heart Cathedral for the Bay Area locals. Yep. And, um, yep. and uh, Al Barron, he coaches at St. Ignatius. Um, I have a training partner that was a new thing for me this year. Nick Alvarado is also a St. Ignatius coach. So, you know, they're there with me day in, day out. Um, my boyfriend, Pablo Solaris, who's also a runner, he represents Mexico. Um, How do you spell that? S-O-L-A-R-E-S. -E he runs 1500 in the 8. Um, he has been so influential on my, you know, my improvement, my confidence. Um, and, uh, he, you know, he kept me sane. And then my chiropractor, Lenny Stein, he was here with me today, too. So I have such an amazing support network. Um, I could go on thanking people forever, but... Um, your, uh, your boyfriend, you met him when you were doing the training sessions? Um, I met Pablo when I was in Rieti, Italy, for my last meet of the 2010 season. And um, I'd heard he was going to be joining our training group, and I was like, I need to check out this guy. Like, I don't if he's a if he's a jerk, I don't want him on the team. Uh -huh. And it ended up we hit it off. Um, his English was a little bit rusty at first, but it's much improved now. And um, you know, he's just he's kind of been my rock lately. So, so the, I'm so grateful. So the training group is improving. <laughs> so the training group is the Bay Area Track Club. Um, Austin Track Club, Bay Area Track Club. Um, Austin Track Club. Um, Austin yeah. Track Club is where Ryan Ponsonby is and Leo Manzano. Um, but I am a, I live in San Francisco, so I, um, you know, I'm also associated with the BATC. So. Will, will Pablo be on the Mexican team? Hopefully, he's got to make the st time standard. So he's. Yeah, he's he, only, he only has one week, right? Yeah, he has. He has two more races. So um, now that I've made the team, it's time to put everything into him making it. <laughs> Best. Um, 146 sure. is his best, so if he can get the B standard in the 800, then he'll make the team for Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of worlds, I mean, you talked about dreaming of, of the gold, obviously, yeah. and you got the bronze before. Do you pay, how much attention do you pay to the fact that the, the girls are running a lot faster now, all of a sudden, 358, 357? Yeah. Just, do you let that bother you, or do you, do you try to ignore that? Or I'm excited by it. I think... Um, you know, I ran four minutes in 2008 and um, have just kind of been, with the exception of last year, was pretty consistently at that time. Um, but I lacked a lot of foot speed before, and um, that's something I worked on this year. And so seeing all these fast races where time after time they're running sub four, I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> let me go get in this race. And, you know, if I'm going to do it, then now's the time. This is this is the test. If I can't hang with them, then I'm not capable of it. But, but maybe I am, and maybe I can beat some of these girls. Right. And do you have any plans to go over to the Diamond League of Europe before the Olympics? What, I do, the... yeah. I'm going to get in a few races before the Olympics start. Um, do you know which ones? There's three. Um, yeah, there's yeah three I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to make it in time for Paris, um, but I'm going to do London, London um, and, and then Monaco. Yeah, those are that's the plan as of now. Um, and you know, yeah, and then hopefully an 800 in Madrid, um, just right to kind of get some rest off. <laughs> um, so I'm always a little bit of a space case right after international travel. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think, you know, and actually for me, it's been sort of, I've had the same experience now as they've stepped it up again. Like, you know, I think they watched me run four minutes, uh, make the Olympic final, get third at World Champs, and were like, I can do that. And I think I've watched them do 
you know, just as good of things, better things, and said, I can be there. And, um, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a healthy level of competition, and I think it keeps you motivated. It, it, it shows you where your own weaknesses are and what you need to work on. So, um, I mean, making the team this year in 2012 was a lot harder than in 2008, but it makes it that much sweeter. Shannon, and, um, after, after this race, do you feel a sense of redemption? You know, you've had your ups and downs, yeah. you know, some people are looking at you and saying, well, what's happened to Shannon? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't really have a sense of redemption because, you know, despite my you know, not making the Olymp or the World Championship final last year, I think I had a pretty, a pretty good season, you know, it was solid, it wasn't anything spectacular, but, um, but you know, I've been consistent year after year, I've proven that I'm a championship racer, um, and you, the, what I, what I, if if it were any sort of redemption, it's just more uh, proving to myself that everything I've believed, that confidence that I've tried to keep in myself, even through my darkest times, um, you know, wasn't wasn't false, wasn't um, a fantasy. You know, I really am capable of the things that I thought, and so that feels good because you know when you have those down times. Last year, when you know I was injured for the eighth month of of the season, it was there were times when I was like, do I even want to run anymore? And you know that when you're questioning what you're doing as an athlete, like that's the hardest time. That's that's the deepest, darkest place you can go. So, um, you know, standing here right now is is a uh, as I'm covered with goose, goosebumps is like proof to myself that like this is something that you know I was I was meant to be doing and you could just focus since getting the standard